Are you guys in the same grade? No. I graduated in 1973. 1974. In my experience, um, this is a little different, but uh, I like John McGowan's English class. Hmm. And I think he had a history class also. But I was not a good English student. I'd rather have the science and like that, but, but uh, he was pretty elaborate when he described what was going on. The things he told us about the Scarlet Letter and Hester Prynne and things like that made it pretty interesting. So you never knew what was going to be there when you walked into class, but he made it interesting. The same thing with history. Same thing with history. He really, for me, uh, was very good. You know, and I just, I just appreciated him. I, he was uh, taught class, the classes I took. He was a football coach. He was a basketball coach, and, and just uh, meant a lot. You know, as a, as a person, through his military service, through his family. Uh, I had his wife when I, I think it was in the third grade, mm -hmm. and was on staff with uh, two of his daughters too. Appreciated him and his family very much. I had Mrs. Gladys Chase in third grade, and she was ready to retire at the end of third grade. And they talked her into staying for another year, but her conditions were that she got to stay with our class as we moved up to fourth grade. She got to move up to fourth grade also. Oh, wow. And so her abilities, her, her empathy, her methods. She was an excellent teacher. So my class was the only one that got to have her two years. Wow. So I felt that that was a real blessing. What subjects stand out? English. English and mostly because of reading. Um, reading takes you places that you could never visit. And so it's an opportunity to see and do things and I think universally everyone says oh the book's better than the movie and that's probably true you get so much more out of reading. That's neat. Are there teachers that stand out in your memory? Oh gosh Besides I was in fifth grade when Jim Van Sickle came to New London <laughs> so I got to work with him as a student and then being in band and then I left and graduated and went to high school and to college and came back. And now I'm a co-worker with him. Um, then he moved into the position as principal. So I got to work under him and he taught me a great deal. Sometimes lessons you didn't necessarily want. And sometimes we went nose to nose as anyone who's dealt with Jim Van Sickle realizes can happen, but I attribute the many huge successes that occurred at New London to him. He worked tirelessly in whatever he was involved with. That's a good question. I, I think pretty early in uh, probably my high school career. So I, I thought I wanted to coach and that was a pathway to, to coaching, mainly basketball, but um, and a little baseball. So I, that, that propelled me into that. I didn't decide until my senior year. And so it was a late decision, but once I made that decision, I didn't change my major at all. I knew what I wanted to do. What does New London mean to you? Community. Just a feeling of people care. Um, I would have friends come into town and if you're walking down the street and someone honks or someone goes by and waves and they would say things like, do you know everyone? And I, I don't, but it's just a friendly place and we know each other but it isn't just knowing each other. People care. 
about what's going on with other lives. When we were teaching, we knew a lot more people. Now, it's, we don't recognize as many. <laughs> but uh, going through the years, you know, you, you wait to, to everybody. Mm -hmm. Go down the street, you meet them at the hardware store, or McDonald's. You know, it's just a, a, a close community. Mm -hmm. It has been for all my life. How many years did you teach at New London? 34 at New London. I was one year at Galleon High School and then came to New London and spent the first 18 years here in special needs, intervention specialist. And one of the things you had mentioned that might be asked was just a special memory or moment. And looking back, You'd sit in the lounge and talk with other teachers and you would hear them. As Rob said earlier, you know, he had students that went on to become doctors, lawyers, dentists, and other professions that we all hold in high regard. Those weren't my success stories. Mine were kids graduated they were able to get a job and support their families. Mm. About 15 years after I had come to New London, I got a knock at the door in the evening and when I went to answer it, immediately recognized a girl that I had had about 12 years mm. before and which is a miracle in itself because I'm not so good with names and faces. <laughs> but I asked her in and, and she said, I needed to stop by and thank you. And I said, I have not seen you for a dozen years. What are you thanking me for? And she said, because of you, I was able to read to my kids at night. And I don't know that I had all the credit, but that was my success story. So I didn't have doctors and lawyers or kids that went on to prestigious universities, um, kids that got academic scholarships, but she made my, my day. To walk in here tonight is Touched my heart seeing both of you gentlemen here and talk. And I'm sure there's more out there mm -hmm. that have been involved in some way with, you know, being in our being in my classroom that look back on that uh, they go in the back of your mind after many years, but when you, when you see people around town that you've had in school, their successes, what they're doing now is just, you can't pinpoint it, but it just means something. That you might have, might have touched their lives for a minute or two. They remember what you did in class, uh, times that you about caught the ceiling on fire in the science classroom. <laughs> getting the potassium model or the sodium model. Yeah. Just something that might have stirred a memory for them that they remembered about that. And they let you know about it. But, you know, good kids. Um, I had a far range of teaching. Really, I started teaching K through six phys ed for, for five years. Hmm. And that was an experience. I mean, that was a lot of fun. And go out to Fitchfield, to school out there. Didn't know just um, what it was like out there. I'd go out there and the cafeteria workers would serve you lunch. And that's a, that's a group of people. And, it's, and coming back to New London um, means something to me. Just a, just a lot of people. Custodial staff that you became friends with because
because you know they, they try to help you out you know coaching basketball hey can you help us with this more than willing to do anything they could to help and that means something i don't think you get that in a, a lot of larger schools a lot of different towns it's still a small town where people care they care about their education i'm glad to be a part of that for my 35 years.